Hi everyone, we're here to talk to you about the final expectations of your SML project and the way that it's going to work when you present. So Mr. Pierce and I are just going to run through this slideshow. Please pay attention as those questions at the end of your form that you need to answer. So the first thing we're going to talk about is your research expectations. This is the only part of your SML project that you will get marked on. Uh, the rubric is here. Many of you have seen this rubric before. And if you've been filling out your research document accurately, then this should not be a problem for you. Something to note is that you really need to be clear in your questions and you need to be following the rubric and citing as you go. So here are some questions to ask yourself as you look at your document to see if you are meeting expectations. So you need to ask yourself, are you asking good questions that follow on from one another or are you just putting words with a question mark beside them? If you're looking at things like fondant, fondant question mark is not a question. How do I make a colored fondant question mark is a question. So just be prepared to look back at your questions. Um, you do need to be using the research document provided. So if you've been doing research in a notebook or in some other form, you need to update your document. You should be using relevant keyword terms. And if they are unclear, you should be making them clear to your teacher. Uh, if you know what Boolean search terms are, then please use those. Uh, and make sure you're citing in MLA format. You should use EasyBib to help you do that. Uh, so next I'm going to pass it on to Mr. Pierce. All right, so we've got two more lessons, 90 minutes plus 90 minutes, three hours. You really need to start preparing the presentations if you don't want to feel a little bit embarrassed. Okay, so even though you might not be done with your product, your project, if you don't feel like it's finished, that's okay. Remember, that doesn't get a grade. So we really want you to start focusing on the presentations. How are you going to show what you learned? How can you do it engagingly? And what's the best way to show off what you made? Even though, again, it might not feel finished. So things to think about presenting. Think about the process. Did you start with a different question? Did you have a question that you wanted to do and it didn't get approved? Why not? Were there challenges in researching it? Did you have a lot of success? things that you might have learned during the process, things that we won't see from looking at the product. Okay? Um, and also think about sharing your final product. If there is something that you can easily share, we'll definitely bring it. So, for example, if you made some cookies, yeah, bring some cookies in, okay? And give one to me. Um, possible ways to present. You might want to use a presentation board, so getting a poster board from somewhere. It, that's a good idea if your product is on the computer so that you can have two things presented. You don't have to use your computer to present. You can have extra information about the process on the board. Um, food, it's a good idea to use a presentation board when you have food because then you don't have to worry about getting it messy. Okay, And when you have to do something with your product. So if you have to set up a game on your computer or if you... Uh, want to safely demonstrate the aerial that you learned, <laughs> Mina, um, then, yeah, then you should have a poster board so that can stand separate from you. Uh, digital presentations, like a keynote or a slide deck, okay? Maybe you do that if you've created something that's kind of like an artifact, a still piece, so clothing, artwork, pictures, right? So that'll help you talk through the process. Or maybe then you, if you feel like you didn't really produce a very hard product, like uh, you were working on learning about the stock market, right? So theories, systems, things like that might be easier to do that with a digital slideshow. Here are some pictures from years past of people that presented. On the left, you have a poster board talking about uh, drawing the Hong Kong skyline. On the right was an actual product that a student made to set off a bottle rocket safely. So you can see the different approaches there. Both of them work for their product. And then on the, on the right, another, someone who made some food, right? So they set up all the different steps they did, the recipes, the trials, the thoughts. That's on the poster board. On the left, somebody's going through, looks to me like brain research. So that's definitely something that's going to be a little bit more complicated. Can't make a product very easily about brain research. So a digital slideshow is a good solution for that. 
So I'm gonna, now going to talk about the thing you're all interested in is how are you going to present your products. So we're going to split you over two days. Grade sevens are going to take place their presentations on Wednesday, June 3rd, and grade eights will present on Friday, June 5th. But both groups will have the same uh, organizational rundown. So on either one of those days, this is what you should expect. So we're going to steal your lunch again, unfortunately, but you are going to have pizza in the classroom. So that's a good stealing of your lunchtime. Plus, you'll be with all your friends. So from 12 to 12.30, we'll have pizza in the classrooms. From 12.30 to 1, you'll be able to set up your poster boards, any products you have uh, within your own team room. So it'll be an open wall between Ms. Weibel and Ms. Dickey's rooms and Mr. Uh, Pierce's and Ms. Bevere's rooms. Uh, from 1 o'clock to 1... Uh, that should say 115, apologies. 1 to 115, we'll move on to the library where we will have our opening ceremonies. Uh, we will have three to five people present their work, uh, and then we will move on back to the team rooms. And from 145 to 305, we're going to do a gallery walk where parents, students, administrators, other teachers will walk around and look at your products. So what should you know about this day? You need to bring $50 between now and this day to cover the pizza and drink costs. We will tell you who to give that money to uh, at the next SML session. After lunch, uh, you will have 30 minutes, and that is it, to set up your work. So do not plan on baking cookies or anything within that setup time. You need to have everything ready to go. Um, the opening ceremonies are going to be in the library, and we will have peer and teacher nominations to who will present for everybody in the library, um, and you will do a kind of TED Talk style presentation. So you could do a poster board, but you'd need to talk through the process in about two minutes or so. Uh, from 1.45 to 3.05, you will be walking around. We will have different cores go at different times. So we will have an assigned time that you need to be at your station and an assigned time when you can walk around and look at other products. Um, so that's the key thing to know. If you have any questions, please make sure to ask Mr. Pierce or myself. Good luck. It's been a really good journey for us and uh, we hope you guys have enjoyed your products.